Now what? Aniki, are you done babysitting the young master? Yep. Let's meet up at Theater Square and walk to the office. Sounds good. This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm a jerk. I'm also a jerk. They deserve it. Like, this game is phenomenal. Looks really good. A lot of role playing aspects. I mean, like, is this an Atlas game? Like, it reminds me of an Atlas game a lot. Get back to the office. Let's go back. I hope I don't need to do anything else. Sega does own, I think, the right, uh... What happened with that porn peddler? Sir, Aniki took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. Okay. And how much did you get from him? Uh, about that, uh... I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. I see. And that debt we bought? Oh, yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. All the money's there, including interest. Uh -huh. Wow, excellent work. Is that what you thought I would say? Oh. <laughs> what? This bill strap is from the young master's bank. Ichi, what's the real story? Oh, freak. He tried. <laughs> There is no real story. The young master gave that to me. I swear. That is true. He gave it to you. Or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scraps won't fix your incompetence. I didn't beg. I have too much pride to pull something like that. Pride when you can't earn for the family. I'm free. <sighs> What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt. You don't even know pain. <clears throat> Not for a yakuza anyway. A yakuza takes real responsibility. Hey, bring me the knife. Doing the scar on a sheet. Do it. What's wrong? You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine, I'll show you. <laughs> if you're lucky, it'll slip right between the joints for a clean cut. <laughs> if you're lucky. Good to see you, boss. Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. Let's play, play, play. Ichi, walk with me. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, what happened now? Boss, you saved my ass back there. Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? Oh no, he hates my guts. Just because, well, 
I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasurer. Sure, I know that, but... It's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people, not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. S sorry, party? <laughs> it's not so different than those games you like. Wait, is what? It? Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in head first without a thought. Others cover your ass like Mitsu. And some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah, and you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> Speaking of, you looked after Masako today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was it? F fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichibang, why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure. I mean, that was something. And we're still. Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about PDA on New Year. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a reverse chick magnet. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Crazy for you to say. You probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. <laughs> I. You use the past tense. Going silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family, but the patriarch asked me if I'd marry his daughter. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I love someone else. Her name was Akane. Uh-oh. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time, I was dating Akane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. Oh, man. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was... I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh, he had his guys beat the shit out of me. <laughs> I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. <gasps> the boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. What? Kill her? Yes. I couldn't believe it myself. But he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, her body was never found. That's what was waiting for Akane and me. For bringing shame to the Patriarch. Uh, 
To this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. <gasps> I called her and told her to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital, so I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. It was me, Austin Owl. At Dutch Miller Subaru, Wait. our team is dedicated Wrong to reference. providing our customers with the most positive car buying experience possible. Friends and family pricing for okay. everyone. Combined with the amazing Hello. Subaru. Where are you? I thought they caught you. Our, our baby, he's here. Huh? Our son. What? Yeah, I got away, but they're not far behind. I, I have to keep moving. Where are you? I'll come get you. Mijuku Station, by the lockers. Okay, stay there. Try to blend into the crowd. They're here. What do I do? Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Uh, hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low profile. I know a baby in a locker? Don't worry. I'll come get him as soon as I can. Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him where you are. Now hurry. Put the baby in a locker. What the freak? But... Okay. Take good care of him. Akane. Hey, there she is. That's her. Go, go, go. Hey! Akane! Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her! <laughs> Shit! What? And the Yakuza are after him. with him. He's gonna go Super Saiyan on me. This is my child. Hey, are you okay? Oh, damn it! Move! Move! What the f 
freak is going on? Like... I rescued our child and ran to a hospital. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. So that's why the young master is in a chair. Yes. It was that cold inside the locker. And apparently, if I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented the complications. Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. I don't think of it that way, sir. I never saw Akane again after that. She ran to a bar she knew, but the Hikawa family was already there. As I was taking Masato to the hospital, they were taking her away. They killed her. Oh. A few days later, the Patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had ceased to exist. Wow. Why, did you? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on and on. But there's something I've always wanted to tell you. Even if only by omen. I consider you a son as well. Oh, jeez, sir. That's... Well, enough gloomy talk. Let's eat, hmm? I'm starving. Me too. His life is so tragic. Like, I like the godfather, the master. I don't know what the proper name is. So where are we going with this? Well, seeing as I'm the king and all, how about we feast on the king of Chinese food? Wait a minute. What could that be? Oh, gyoza! <laughs> no, not gyoza. Peking duck. Wait. Duck? Is that even edible? Mm -hmm. The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. And the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. Wait you minute. peel off the perfectly brown skin, wrap it in seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy fragrance of the sauce. Damn, that does sound good. Yes, which is why in ancient China, only the imperial court ate it. Oh, so it really is the king of Chinese food. Yeah. Yep. But I wonder if we can find it in Kamrochu. There's got to be a place serving it somewhere. Wait, well, another takeover. Is he going to die? Like, my first thought is we're going back to the beginning of the game where he dies, and also oh, the old man can run, okay. Okay, I guess we're going this way now, like, I was hoping we just had to go right there. But then again, it's been almost an hour straight. Club Sega! All right, closed. Lame. Uh, seriously? Hey, you guys open? We need bacon. Stop. Relax, Jibam. It's almost the new year. The employees are probably at home waiting to ring it in with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it though. <laughs> Another time, I promise. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> that duck got lucky today. He won't get away from us next time. 
<laughs> Have a good New Year's, you two! Uh -oh. Ichiban, what have I told you? Oh, sorry. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a Yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit. I know. Right. Reputation is everything for a Yakuza. Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Oden place? <sighs> Sounds good. So I ran all the way here for nothing? What the freak? That's not good at all. What's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off. <laughs> Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. <laughs> No matter how it happened, home is home. One day, you won't be able to go back, you know. That is true. Twenty-three years ago, on January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside this sleazy soap land. Oh, that's why it's got so busy. Soap lands. You can pop me out in one. Then she disappeared. I didn't know that till I was older, when Dad told me. I say Dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the soap land that took me in. You don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham bam thank you, man. Uh. Hey, can someone keep an eye on Ichiban? Oh, come here, Ichi. Hey, it's my turn to hold him. At least he had help. That's good. I was raised by this city's working class folks. Oh. Okay, that's why he's so friendly with this area. That's why he doesn't really... He's not greedy about things. I like him. According to society, all those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum, too. What? N never! You're everything I want to be! <laughs> You're like a god! That facial expression. <laughs> so, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. Oh, the bag story. Holy cow game. After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Just picking fights, shaking people down for easy money. But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy, a Yakuza. So yeah, his crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. <laughs> what? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, they'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza or who they were at the time, but I knew that name. I thought if I name-dropped them, 
Maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? <laughs> A kid like you? But my plan backfired. Big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. One of your little brats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Well, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. If you want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. And then he did. Because story. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Araki. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. <coughs> Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. Yeet! All right, then. Let's go, you little shit. What? Uh, I... What? You... You saved my life. Why? How can I think... <laughs> Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I'd begged them to return you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. You're not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, I saw my life's path ahead of me. It was following this man. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Back the fuck up! <laughs> How many times I gotta say this? We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. Yeah. Under the mm -mm. scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Who's he? You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir! I had a foster dad, but he's dead now! Come on. Sir! 
It's been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa-san. Huh. So the kid, he took him in when he found out he's an orphan. Which, I really don't... I respect that. So now what? Man, that Odin is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing. Sega! Hey, it's almost time for the countdown. Hey, stop it! Uh-uh. You came here alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. Leave me alone! Quit acting like you're too good for us. Let's have some fun. May I? Sometimes it's the scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. Hey! A new century is about to start, and I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in a hospital bed. Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? <laughs> Keep out of this. Who the fuck are you? Tojo clan, Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away from the lady here. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on. Are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> They've gotta be. Look. He's got the hair and everything. Yeah, plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a mafia movie. You fuckers better not be making fun of us! Hey boss, leave this to me. It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. Just wait till you see what I can do. All right, so we have a first fight in like an hour. Cool. Wow. Ow. Well, street plug, let's destroy him real quick. Shall we? That was pretty easy. I mean, that was pretty easy. What's the catch? Who is this guy? He's crazy. You okay, miss? <laughs> Get away from me! Hey, come on! At least thank the boss! It's fine. Just forget it, Ichi. Remember. Where Yakuza? Yeah, I get it. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> you too. He's going by himself? Man, he's such a badass. Now, I wouldn't mind another drink. So the kid, he's like, what, 20-ish? What a pretty sight. 
now loading. Sir, you have to wake up. Wake up now. <clears throat> oh shit. Fell asleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Messy identification? Uh, identification? Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. Shit! My wallet's gone! Uh, you see why you shouldn't sleep out here? You need to file a stolen item report now? I'm busy, so you'll have to go down to the uh. station. I saw the phone. Hi, boss. First of all, Happy New Year. Sorry to call you first thing in the morning, Ichi. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. You want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? No. Just come to the office. Try to be inconspicuous. Uh, okay. You got it. Huh. I can move again, but jeez, I've been recording for an hour straight. Next time on Yakuza Like a Dragon. Ah, uh, I guess I'll make a new save. Whatever. Oh, okay, it just does automatically. We're gonna continue on, we'll meet the boss. I'll see you then.